Welcome back to the Afia Morning Show. Good morning if you're just joining us. I am Nathalie Uku and Favor Obinyelova is still here looking radiant as always and feeling herself <laughs> too much. Our correspondents are also on the line and we're going to be crossing over to them to find out what matters to you and I, like I said before the break. This morning will begin in Umwahia in Abia State as the anticipated 188 megawatt ABA integrated power project established by the Geometric and ABA Power Limited has been commissioned amid promises and expectations. But it would appear that ABA residents have raised some questions and concerns to Afia TV's borough chief, Emmanuel Waswe. He has more on these questions. Emmanuel, good morning. Emmanuel, are you with us? Of course, I am here with you. Thanks uh, for having me. I, I thought you. we had lost you there. I mean, I'm even asking the question. What question are they asking? I mean, they're about to witness 24 hours of power. What question could you possibly have? Well, uh, this particular uh, report has, uh, uh, you know, a second part. And that's when uh, we bring up what uh, their expectations and the questions they ask. But on this, we are just looking at the commissioning of that particular uh, project. But, uh, well, there, there have been a lot of uh, controversies surrounding, uh, you know, the uh, said investment by the other state government, past administration in the other state government. Whereas the past administration says we invested uh, um, about, you know, $50 million. Uh, and... Uh, these other people are saying, the current administration now say, no, we do not have any stake in this particular project. So that's the question now. Who is telling the truth and who is saying things, you know, that are, you know, without a fact in this particular case? But then let's just get to the commissioning proper and what has happened. And that was why Apple TV was present there on Monday. All right, Emmanuel. On a Boeing 747 aircraft engine with a total capacity of 141 megawatts at 47 megawatts each, the fourth one, which is expected to increase the total capacity to 188 megawatts, is said to be on the way. With these, ABA and the rest of the nine local government areas are expected to enjoy an uninterruptible power supply. And so, dignitaries from all walks of life converged on the Osisioma industrial layout, ABA, while the twin companies, Geometric Power ABA Limited and ABA Power Limited, will serve as power generation and distribution companies for the commissioning. But that was not to be until 3.55 p.m. when the president, represented by his deputy, Kashim Shetima, arrived at the scene with the state governor after his helicopter had been sighted earlier at 3.07 p.m. Here in this, we are about to commission this game-changing project. And I bring you glad tidings from His Excellency President Bola and the King with this aircraft. He is mightily proud of the completion of this project and he is equally mightily proud of Professor Bad Nature. Governor Alex Oti in a remark urged the company and the people of Aba to play their parts well to foster progress, noting that Umwahia and environs will be visited in like manner. This city is very pivotal to the economic trajectory of Nigeria and West Africa region. And I knew for a fact that if we got the fundamentals right, Aba would not just be a city that makes millionaires of dreamers, it will become a land of solutions to the many socioeconomic problems that are set us, including worrisome levels of youth unemployment and pervasive poverty. My faith in ABBA as an economic powerhouse meant that when I first saw the proposal for the geometric integrated power plant, I knew I had to be involved immediately because if just 50% of what had been proposed could be achieved, the industrial output from this great city and these environs would triple 
and millions of new jobs will be created directly and indirectly in the short to medium term. We have therefore gathered to celebrate the actualization of lofty dream, the beginning of a new epoch, and the reaffirmation of our limitless abilities as a people. Certainly the success of this power project will not just validate my unyielding belief in ABBA, but will send a clear signal to local and international investors that ABBA is open for business. In a goodwill message, the Director General of the World Trade Organization, Dr. Ngozi Okonjiwala, congratulated the people and government of Abia State on the development while reeling out its benefits. Industrial market area. area. But the nation will also benefit from the additional 141 megawatts of power that will be sent to the national grid instead of being used in ABA since the ABA IPP will now take over electricity supply for the metropolis. The ABA IPP is totally funded by African capital, something we should all be very proud of. The expectation is that it will help stimulate further investment in manufacturing in the ABA area, given the steady supply of reliable electricity. Another advantage is that the IPP makes use of our gas a clean energy transition fuel that Nigeria is so fortunate to have in abundance. There is really no reason why this country should have the majority of its households without power or have industries struggling when we have the basic energy transition fuel that other countries are yearning for. Let our energetic private sector please try to follow the ABA IPP example and invest more in energy infrastructure. I also hope that the federal and state governments will create the appropriate regulatory environment to make such investment attractive. Let me reiterate how excited I am that this day has finally come. I wish you all a wonderful and successful event. The Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, also had his time. The integrated power project is licensed to generate its planet gigawatts which ABA Power will distribute to nine of the 17 local government in Abia states. Any power which the ABA people and businesses not absorb will surely be delivered to the national grid, thus helping with electricity improvements in the various parts of Nigeria. Therefore, I can confidently say that geometric power group is for all Nigerians, not just the people of Abia states, alone, ABBA and its environs. It is no coincidence that the only power is being inaugurated less than one year after I assume office as the Honorable Minister of Power. The President, Ashwaj Bola Ahmed Tinobu, has always appreciated the knowledge, skills, competence and patriotism of the founder and chairman of geometric power. Earlier in a welcome address, the chairman of Geometric Power, Professor Bath Naji, while thanking all those who helped make the project a reality, said ABA Power Limited was ready to provide optimal services if gas supply will be uninterruptible. The onus is now on the government to demonstrate that ABA is possible in Nigeria by ensuring that this project gets reliable gas supply. I'd like to thank our host communities uh, for their support and getting to all of, uh, of you. I just want to thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you, our Governor. Meanwhile, there has been a controversy over the alleged 5% equity investment in the project by the immediate past Abia government. Our next report shall be a spotlight on these and what Abia residents are saying over the new power managers. In Umwahia, Emmanuel Wazwe reporting.